So there is this amazing tool that the Binance Futures Trading Platform offer and it has helped me and made my trading a lot easier. Now I am referring to the Binance Trading Calculator and in this video I am going to tell you about the Binance Trading Calculator and I will tell you how to use it with a lot of examples. So make sure you watch this video all the way to the end. Now without wasting any time let's get started with this. So this is the Binance Futures Trading Platform and to the right over here this is from where we can access the Binance Futures Calculator. So if you click on this you will see that there are five different sections. The first one is PNL that means profit and loss. The second one is the target price. The third one is the liquidation price. The fourth one is max open and the fifth one is the open price. Now let us understand each one step by step. So the first one is PNL which means profit and loss. Now this is from where you can adjust the average and this tool or this section helps you find out how much profit or loss will you have on an entry which you are about to take or which you have already entered. So for, so for that first you have to adjust the leverage from here and then over here you have to put the entry price then the exit price and then the quantity of the currency you are buying or selling. So let us say I am going long and then my leverage is at 20x and my entry price is let us say 3 US dollars per ADA and my exit price will be let us say 4 US dollars per ADA and the quantity I am buying is 10,000 ADA. So when the price of ADA reaches to $4 you can see that I will have a PNL of 10,000 US dollars and my return on equity will be 666.67 percent. And the initial margin required will be 1500 USDT. Now let us say that uh, I entered at $3 and then the price moved to $2 and in this case again I bought 10,000 ADA. So in this case I will have a loss of $10,000 and the initial margin required to place this trade will be 1500 USDT and the return on equity will be minus 666.67%. Now then up next is target price. Now this is an interesting section over here and they have given it to help you know what is the target price you will require to achieve a certain return on your equity. So for that here you, you have to adjust the leverage from here you will have to just adjust like if you are going long then select long then and if you are going short then select short. Now let's say I am going long on this pair and my leverage is 20x again. Now the entry price is $2.96 and I want to achieve let's say 5% of my equity. So I so when the trade reaches to 2.96740 then I will I will have achieved 5% return on my equity. Now up next is the liquidation price. Now this is again very useful tool and this helps us to know when will our account get liquidated that is at what price. So here there are two interesting sections the first one is the cross and isolated margin and you will have to select this as per your need and then the other one is one way mode and the hedge mode. Now this is now for those who don't know what one way mode and hedge mode is these are the type of trading system that futures trading platform offer. In one way mode what you can do is you can only enter one single trade that is buy or a sell trade that is you can either buy or you can either sell on a single currency pair like let us say if I open a buy trade at ADA with that is I bought 10,000 ADA and at the same time I want to sell 10,000 ADA I cannot do that using the one way mode for that I will have to use hedge mode and hedge mode I can buy and sell on a same currency pair at the same time whenever I want to. Now let's say I am using one way mode now to find out what is the liquidation price price that is let us say I enter ADA at 3 and the quantity I am buying is 
ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड एंड माई अकाउंट बैलेंस एज यू कैन सी इज थर्टी थाउजेंड एंड टू टू हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी यू एस डॉलर्स सो वैन आई क्लिक ऑन कैलकुलेट यर दे प्रोवाइड अस विद अ लिक्विडेशन प्राइस एंड यर इट इज वन पॉइंट एट जीरो फाइव एट थ्री दैट इज वन द प्राइज रीच इज दैट इज वन द प्राइज ऑफ एडी रीच इज टू वन पॉइंट एट जीरो फाइव एट थ्री माई अकाउंट विल गेट लिक्विडेटेड नाउ अप नेक्स्ट इज मैक्स ओपन विच टेल्स अस What is the maximum amount of a currency you can buy? Now we are on ADA USDT, so and our leverage is twenty x. My account balance is thirty thousand US dollars, and the entry price, let us say, is last price, which is two point nine six two double zero. When I click on calculate, you can see that the maximum uh, ADA that I can buy is eighty four thousand four hundred and two eighty. Now, up next is open price. Now this is again an interesting one, and I use this tool, this section specially a lot. Now, the reason why I use is what I do is I don't enter all my position at a single level. I keep on buying it at different levels, and then I get a good average price. So, using this tool, what you can do is you you can add. Let us say I took five. I took four. different rates on ada let us say first i bought at 2 us dollars and i bought 5000 ada and then i bought at 2.20 us dollars at and then i bought 5000 ada again then i bought at 3 which i bought again 5000 and then again i bought at 2. Point, that's a 2 dollars and 50 cents and this time i bought Seven thousand five hundred ADA. So when I click on calculate, they will give me a average price, which is which in this which in this case is two dollars and forty three cents. So this will let me know that when the price reaches to two point four three, that is two dollars and forty three cents, I can still close my trade in break even, and it will also help me to. keep my profits and losses in check so this is how you use the binance trading calculator i hope you enjoyed this video see you in the next one